And the beat goes on, on and on. And they were releasing up to a hundred plus people, man. Holy waka moly, what is going on here in Dara We endeavour absolutely in the smackdown. They're getting rid of a lot of dead wood and they've brought back The Rock. We had Cena and The Rock on smackdown so far. Endeavour gets a big thumbs up for me. But we're going to go through, through a lot of people that they've released. Apparently there's a hundred layoffs across yesterday and a lot of them are going to be announced very, very, very soon. And one of them was in fact Dana Warrior. The belief is that there was 100 layoffs over the course of the day. Dana Warrior, widow of the late Ultimate Warrior, was set to be among the names let go. Dana's been working with Dowdery's community outreach department and her department was called a surprise by Johnston. Dowdery President Nick Cairns sent out the following email in regards to the layoffs. Thank you for your patience and understanding today. All individuals impacted by today's workforce reductions have now been notified. We all thank all these colleagues for their contributions throughout the years and wish them the best. So many of us have a lifelong passion for Dyer and that is part of what makes working here so special. But let's just be brutally honest, right? Like why why do people take these like why do people take it like why do people actually like take it personal when people get released for Dyer People get sacked through their jobs every day. People leave jobs every day. Like, you know, Dana Warrior getting released or removed from a post in Dyer B is get fuck all the do use. If Dyer wants to save money and thinks that having certain people is just a waste of time, they're a fucking business. They're entitled to do that. See these marks that come on here and fucking cry about the fact that people get removed from their jobs? It, it happens. It, there, is not, there is not one company in the history of the world that just fucking employs people for the sake of employing people. Man, people will get moved on. Now, maybe AEW is the only exception across the, the, the global fucking, you know, the world, the crazy world that we live in. Because if you think of it, that that actually might be the only exception, to be um brutally honest. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, you know, people need to realise what we are. The WWE is, and it's a company, and th they get rid of people. And hell, I don't think a hundred's enough. Because realistically, man, I think it's bloated, and that's not. I mean, I'm not even factoring in behind the scenes. I'm talking about on the screens, on the TV screens, and Dana Warrior, fair play to Endeavour. But the people that are on it, but. Oh, they just brought the rock back and they have seen it just to make you forget about all this. Fuck off. You know, wake up and smell the coffee troops. Honestly, man, I, I hate that. I hate this logic. I fucking hate this logic. The, the, what, they, they can never get rid of anyone? They, they, they can't get rid of anyone because what? Oh, everybody needs a job. Everybody needs a job. Da, na, na, na. Needs a job, eh? We need a job, eh? Oh, yeah. But yeah, there's been a lot of executive departures as well for the company, man. A lot of chaos going on. Um, and divisions of Dyer B. There's a lot been hit according to this. Uh, let's, so let's see. Um, we've got. Let's, let's look at this. Jamie Horowitz, Catherine Newman, Amanda Bloom, um, we've got Andy Levine, he's Diary Vice President of International Platform Strategy, Kimberly Currigard, Brand Director, Slavio Bariga, Affiliate Marketing Manager were among those departing the company. Johnson noted that both the Diary Network and Podcast Divisions were both hit with employees being let go. Diary Marketing Division was said to be hit pretty hard with layoffs. Um, there was also said to have been departures in the live events division. Among Dowdery employees, there's been talk that already 40 to 50 employees are gone, potentially more. I give that number with caution since there's a lot of information flowing and there's a lot of emotions among those involved and departing. We do not have a hard number at this time. So, a lot of people set to go. A lot of people could potentially be going. There is talk. CM Punk apparently teased a Dowdery return. As well, so a lot. Of, I mean, how, how fucking mental is it that CM Punk could be returning and we've actually got Rock and Cena on diary programming? It's worst nightmare that whoever the main mania main event off him all those years ago could be coming back like a decade later. Mental guys, mental. But that's it for Fog Wrestling Endeavor. Getting ready to fucking get rid of a hundred people. They've already got rid of a lot of people. Cannot wait for it. Absolutely buzzing. Get fucking rid of them all. Endeavour, because guess what? They're all jobbers. Tony Khan, you'll sign them up, mate. You'll slap them with loads of money. I trust in we, Tony. Let's go, big man.